But first at 530, hepatitis A is back in the headlines this week after yet another round of cases has been tied to a local restaurant. And we just found out this afternoon that there was another confirmed infection today, bringing the total number of hep A cases in Erie County now to 21 this year alone. The health department sent out an advisory to all health care providers today with a number of the recent hep A scares being tied to local restaurants. Many are wondering why food service workers are not required to get vaccinated as a preventative measure. And to your sides, Emily Lampa went looking for some answers on this today. I think that the state should do this. Um, Hepatitis A shots should be mandated with food workers, I believe, because if they were, this wouldn't have happened. Eileen and Duino owns Duino's Pizzeria Bar and Grill in Cheektowaga. She spoke to Two on Your Side's Ron Plants Monday night after the Erie County Health Department revealed a cook at the restaurant infected at least three people with hepatitis A. But I think it should be mandated, then we wouldn't have to worry. We took what Duino said to the New York State Department of Health. Now the state turned down our interview request, instead directing us to their website, where we found that the vaccine isn't required for food service workers because there is, quote, no evidence that they are at any greater risk than any other occupation. The state lists only two groups required to get the vaccine, those working with hep A infected primates or those working with the virus in a lab setting. Even doctors and nurses aren't required to get the vaccine. Hepatitis A is an extremely contagious liver infection. While some people show no symptoms, others have symptoms so severe that it's deadly. The state claims only 2 to 3 percent of reported hep A cases are from contaminated restaurant food. And since turnover in the industry can be high, the state believes it could be impractical to force employers to vaccinate their staff. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention supports New York State's stance. And like the state, the CDC website shows they have the same reactive approach to vaccinating food service workers. Only in the case of community-wide outbreaks do the federal and state agencies believe that they should be vaccinated. But Erie County stopped short of actually calling the latest scare an outbreak, despite the health commissioner saying this. We recommend that all Erie County residents who have not been fully immunized with a hepatitis A vaccine to complete the hepatitis A vaccine series. Well, if you are thinking about getting the vaccine, a couple of things that you should know it's not cheap and it's recommended that you get two doses the second after six months. Now the health department says that you should call your insurance company to see if it covers this vaccine. Once you figure that out, make sure you go to either a doctor's office, a clinic or the health department to get your shots because you shouldn't go to a pharmacy because pharmacists apparently are not licensed to administer the hep A vaccine. Right, Emily, what if you don't have insurance? How much could something like this cost? That is a very good question. Now the health department offers the best price for the vaccine, but you need to make an appointment. It's about $68 per mm -hmm. dose. Since it requires two doses, it will cost you $136. Mm. There are also three local clinics now offering the vaccine, but you can expect to pay anywhere from $240 to $330 mm. for those two doses. We have all the pricing and location information up on our website right now for you to check out. That's WGRZ.com. Now we know why it would be hard for an employer to make that mandatory. That's a lot That's of right. money. It is. It adds up. Emily, thank you.